It's food o'clock on me and L Craft Beer. I was up Lidl the other day and I come across something which I I think it might be a little bit interesting, you know. It's Lidl's What's Cooking Bami Goreng. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of noodles there, lumps of chicken, uh, all sorts of pepper and... It looks really good. It looks really good. So what I thought was... Let's give it a review. So we're going to cook it up, put a couple of tablespoons full of water in a frying pan, put half a bag in, and then you fry it up intensely for six minutes, and then you turn it, or four minutes for half a bag. I'm going to do half a bag. I won't eat the whole bag. Four minutes for half a bag, and then a further five minutes on a, on a slower heat. So let's get cooking. Okay, so here we are. Let's turn the gas on. Yeah, it's for quite an intense heat. I've already put a couple of teaspoons fulls of water in there. I imagine the water will kind of boil up quite quickly. Let's get ourselves a, a spoon to cook this stuff in. Right, let's get it in. Well, this is what it looks like, by the way. So nice big noodles and onions and peppers and mushrooms Oop. that's about that's about half a bag there it looks looks all right doesn't it there's a, there's a lump of chicken. Very... Right. So I'm going to carry on just cooking this up now and then we'll... Um, Come back when it's when it's in a bowl. Okay, so here we have the Bami Gorang. Nice and hot. I tell you what I have got, just in case. I was very kindly from hot craft hot sauce they sent me your peaches on fire it's a lemon drop chili peach and passion fruit double ipa sauce and it's been made in collaboration with brew by numbers that should be really cool so we'll have a little bit of it it doesn't uh, to be honest i didn't know what this was let's get a bit of chicken first here's the chicken Mmm. Oh, that's nice. The noodles are quite, um, they're quite, they're quite thick and I think, it's like an Indonesian stir fry on its own lots of veggies very light a little bit of sauce in there like a maybe a little bit of soy sauce or something like that it's interesting enough it was they had two styles. They had this bami garang, and they had a big bag of paella, and uh, but it was seafood. I'm not a fan of seafood, so I didn't bother with that. I went with the chicken, the bami garang. I think this is for. It's quite nice, actually. It's a. Uh, It very much is an alternative to 
stir fry. So it's not spicy. I didn't know what to expect when I bought it. I had no idea. But you know me. You know me. I think something like this. I'm going to get a good old dose of this in you. The Kraft hot sauce. I'm going to get loads of it in there. Whoa, look at all that. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. From hopped. Loads of that in there now. Give it a give it a good old mix up now. Get it equal. Make it all equal and now this should be this should be top banana now. This should be top banana. Plenty of spice in there. Let's see what the chicken's like with the spice. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You're actually picking up. That's the weirdest thing. That is the weirdest thing. So of course, it's been made with hops. <laughs> I've just turned this dish into a double IPA. I've literally, I've literally turned this dish into a double IPA. A double IPA hot sauce. Chili, 4%. Peach, 50%. Passion fruit, eight percent. Lemon juice, hop oil, two point five percent hop oil. You definitely get it. I've made it really peachy and a little bit of chili in there now. Hmm. <laughs> that's just that's made my day that's made my day that's made me chuckle to myself I can literally I'm having hop burn I'm literally having hop burn from a, from a hop sauce in my food Double IPA hop sauce, peach, chili. Hmm. I mean, for a healthy option, look at the size of that onion and pepper. I think I put a bit too much in. It's like quite interesting, <laughs> to say the least. This hop sauce. Maybe I put a bit too much in. It's spicy and peppery, but the hop burn is like incredible. Mmm, good though. Still very much edible. It's really nice with that chicken. Mmm. Maybe. Maybe. If you don't have any of this hop sauce, your peach is on fire. Totally recommend this, by the way. I, I've, I've cooked with this stuff before, but a different variety of it. Um, I've also got... 
they sent me some um, Chipotle chocolate stout and they've sent me some of the Christmas stuff naughty and nice it's a Christmas blueberry and maple syrup imperial stout hot sauce interesting stuff but I've made a chicken dish before now with one of their hot sauces and it was really really good I totally recommend it but I'm not ready to rate this Bami Goreng Goreng I still have half a bag that's quite healthy and it's filling me up which is pardon me really interesting that is so convenient it's a bit like having frozen stir fry in your in your freezer or fresh stir fry but there's a little bit more to it because of them lovely kind of big fat noodles there's a little bit more to it than making a stir fry I like that I'm going to rate the two things I'm going to rate the Bami Garang and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 and this hop craft hot sauce your peaches on fire um, it's interesting it's interesting um, I got a lot of hop burn I'm getting a lot of hop burn from this sauce if you need to know what hot burn is google it google it and quite a bit of chili it's interesting but yeah i don't know i'm gonna go six out of ten six out of ten for real old craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers